Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our Angular 14 tutorial. So part of this video, I am going to explain Material UI model pop. And this Material UI model pop will have some interesting features like data transfer and also resizing. We can apply the animation also. So in this video, I am planning to cover each and every topic. So let me go to the application. Okay, this is my created application, application in running mode. And the first step is you have to install this material UI in our application. So that step already I'm completed. If you're not completed, you have to install this package in our machine. So once it's done, we have to go to this component. So the model pop-up is nothing but this uh, dialog component only. So here you can see this API and they have provided some examples also. So we can get this HTML, TS code, all the information was available. So we can use these things for our reference. So let me start my changes from in the application. First, let me create one new component. So ng generate component. My component name is model popup. Okay, great. The popup is created. Now let me go to the common model of material UI. So here I am going to include one model. So the name is dialog. So let me change the model name also. Matte dialog model. So let me include in the export side also. Okay, we have done. Now let me go to the app component. So in the app component, I am going to create one new button for opening this pop-up. So let me take this button. So the name is open pop-up. Okay, this is done. Now I have to include uh, one more model here. Matte button model. Okay, it's not coming. Then we have to include manually. So instead of this dialog, let me include a button. Okay, fine. So now it will come. Matte button model. So let me see the output. Look like the pop-up is coming. Okay, now the addition also looks fine. So in this button, I am going to bind one of the event. Click. And the function name is open pop-up. So let me define the function here. So in the app component already we have some function. So let me create my new function for opening this pop-up. So the function is created. Now let me go to the constructor. Here I am going to insert one class is mat dialog. So the injection is completed. Now let me go to the function. Here I am going to open this pop-up. So this dot mat dialog dot open off. Here I need to provide the component name. So our model pop-up component name is nothing but model pop-up only. So we have done our changes. Let me try to open the pop-up. Okay, great. The pop-up is opened. Here I have to see only small text like a model pop-up works and this pop-up size also very small. So basically this text is coming from our model pop-up component. So in this place, whatever changes you have, I mean the design point of view, you can apply it here. So let me go to the example. Uh, they have provided some default content. So here let me remove the actions. And this one also I have to remove it. So instead of OK, I am going to provide a close. For this one, I am going to provide OK. And also this matte dialog close direct is for closing the pop-up. 
so whatever data they have binded so let me remove it so we can apply our own changes so let me check the design how it's working see now hi what's your favorite animal and okay and collapse so let me change the design first welcome to Nahira Techies what's your favorite technology so let me give check okay this is enough and let me include one small style here so it will provide some good look and feel so instead of this mat button i'm going to use these classes because uh, the look and feel is really good so one is primary and another one is one so we can check now okay the design now it's look feel better and now i'm going to increase the pop-up size okay for doing this one we can do it's from our ts file itself the first one is width so let me provide 60 percentage see now the width of the pop-up is increased the similar way i am going to give the height also the height i am going to give 420 pixel so we have to pass in the single quotes see now the height of the pop-up also increased so and now let me going to include this animation for including the animation we have two options enter animation duration so I am going to provide 1000 milliseconds see now the pop-up is opening very smoothly but when I am closing time it's closed suddenly the same way we have the one more property exit animation duration so here also I am going to provide 1000 milliseconds see so now the pop-up is opened slightly and also if I am trying to close so that time also it's closed very smoothly so let me provide 2000 see now it's opened so when I'm closing also it's closed very smoothly so this is all about the animation related changes now let me explain this data transfer so if you see here basically we have two components one is for our model component and another one is our parent component is called app component so basically we can do the data transfer in the two ways so one is transferring some data from our app component to our model and similar way we have to retrieve some data from our model pop-up window of our app component so let me start from transferring data from app component to our model component so let me go to this open pop-up so in the open pop-up function is available in our app component only here I am going to pass one of the variable data so inside the data I am going to return on object and here are techies and also the type tutorial now let me explain how to retrieve the data from our model component for retrieving the model component we have to do some more injection here at inject so insert that mat underscore dialog data so after that let me provide the data it should be public only and the variable name is nothing but data and its data type any okay 
so in this data basically I will get the values so let me try to take this value in the ng on inside so let me include in the console so if you noted here in the console we don't have any value if I'm trying to open this pop-up the pop-up is opened at the same time I am able to get two values the Nihira tag is and a type also tutorial okay so if I want to bind the same values in our pop-up so in this model component I am going to have two fields so result dot name and also I am going to mention the type so result dot type now let me declare this variable here any so whatever value comes in this data so let me adding here so we have done our changes let me verify it so if I'm opening this pop-up this Nigra tech is binded and also the tutorial and if I'm changing the name also from our app component I'm changing into techies from the type I am providing check so now I am trying to open this pop-up the same value is binded so now we have completed the data transfer between our app component to our model component so we passed some data and also we have binded in our model pop-up the next thing is uh, we have to close the pop-up so already we have the option is called the closing pop-up so when I am clicking this collapse button it's closed at the same time if I am clicking this ok button it's not closed why because so in the collapse button we have added one directory it's called mad dialog close okay so now let me close this pop-up using one of the function so let me provide the name as close here I am not going to use this uh, directory instead of that I am going to include one function the function name is close pop-up so let me define it and also in the constructor I am going to inject something that is called mat dialog rough okay this is done now let me close it so this dot rough dot okay actually I need to pass the component here so basically it's expected okay now it's fine so this rough dot close that's it so now we can verify once again so I just open the pop-up so if I'm trying to click this close so the pop-up get closed okay now my next plan is I have to pass some data from our component to our parent component so let me do that also so now what I'm going to do from this close function I'm going to pass some value closing from function okay I just to pass the data now I need to get the values from our app component so what I'm going to do 
here I am going to declare one variable constant pop up equal to so when I opening the pop up I am able to get the same value in this variable so after that so pop up dot after closed so let me subscribe it so when I'm subscribed I will get the values in this items so let me include in the console.log so now we can check let me inspect so let me inspect and uh, go to the console side first time opening this pop-up in the console I don't have any values so if I'm clicking this close button see I am able to get this closing from our function now once again I am going to open this pop-up and trying to close the pop-up using this collapse option so here I am not getting any value you can see some empty value okay now let me show you how to we can pass the data from our, our directory itself so in the directory I am going to use this property binding and also let me declare some values here close message equal to closed from directive so let me refresh we can start from our beginning so I just open the pop-up if I'm clicking this OK button there is no change so if I'm clicking this close pop-up I mean this collapse it's saying cola so it's saying closed from our directive and if I'm using this close button so I'm getting closing from function so as of now I just passed this uh, string value the same way uh, we have to pass some objectives also so instead of this one let me provide one object test user so if I'm clicking this collapse see now I am getting this object so the same way we have to pass any object or list whatever information you have so we can pass to our app component so this is all about our changes I hope you got some better idea about how to create the basic model pop-up and how to apply the animation and the resizing and also transferring data between the component parent to our pop-up component and pop-up component into our parent component Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.